explain what you're doing with this water bottle. I thought my bottle was 1.5, it's actually 1.2. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We'll go general waste. You're a general waste. Oh, not that much spillage. <laughs> We've checked in and we're doing some retail therapy. We're not actually, this is the way to the boarding gate. Excited to fly on Ethiopian Airlines. <laughs> Very. So Rob's just bought a new power bank that he's expecting to be able to charge on this aeroplane. Where, where are you going to charge it? It's uh, behind here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Seems like we've upgraded our, our leg room again. Very comfortable. The is a great airline so far. We picked up a friend. Well, he's not a friend, we found this random guy in the airport. He's quite cute though. The second flight, and this guy is very happy because they have a place for him to charge his own power. This is the best transfer system from plane to terminal I've ever used. To our palace for this evening, a little bit of luxury, even some mosquito nets. Beds are nice and far apart. And a beautiful view. This is the sky Hi. and the garden. Look at that. Wonderful. swimming. <laughs> Let's see. This guy's in charge of the route. <laughs> I brought the right footwear. There we go. This is absolutely beautiful. We just climbed up from the lake. And we got a beautiful lake view. Welcome to my house. It's quite spacious. This is my living room here. Also doubles up as my bedroom, sleeping area, bed, and that's outside. That's the front door. We obviously had a beautiful night sleeping here. Me and my roommate had this nice dividing wall so we didn't touch each other. Doesn't look like the kind of guy that wants to touch, so that's okay. Well, obviously all of the runners have been up for about three hours, and we still have one hour to go before this race starts. So they're just mincing around and we're just enjoying ourselves. Go. Day one, they're about to take off. And my job is to try and capture them. Not catch them, but capture them. Have Kilimanjaro, if you can see it, the roof of Africa. And here we have Edri. Hello. The pride, the joy, the gift of Spain. <laughs> so basically, I'm doing just some tempo work, catching different groups up, having a chat with them, trying to get some content for the Ultra X feed, and then, as you can tell, running tempo to get to the next group. This is great fun, believe it or not. I've now reversed the course and I'm going to try and uh, not get lost, which would have been to go that way, and get the runners at checkpoint three. See if they beat me there. Front runners are running about 4.30, so I'm going to have to speed it up a bit, maybe. My running for the day is complete. 
23k yeah 23k in the end amazing one decent fall not too many water wounds pretty pathetic really i should have fallen a bit harder if i was going to fall at all runners seem happy beautiful course i love this country i love this continent Fun fact, this is the only bit of water in the whole of Tanzania that there are no animals in that will eat you. Oh. Be nice. <laughs> Fish. Preparing my oats for tomorrow morning. Preparation, admin, and also getting your oats takeaway from Smith Street Cafe is key for these events. Day two of the race. These guys have 49 Ks to run. Hopefully I get about 20, 25 again. Beautiful morning. We're starting at 6.20. I've actually gone up out onto the course, that's why I'm out of breath, to have a look at what they have ahead of them. It's a beautiful morning. Hopefully, well, the sun will rise, but we think it's gonna come. We know it comes in that direction. And it should deliver something quite picturesque. Let's see. Actually had a pretty decent night's sleep. You never sleep perfect on these things. Camps are noisy, people are moving around. You hear zips of tents at weird times, but I feel quite fresh this morning. Nice morning coffee as always. Manjaro under clouds this morning. And again, yesterday, swim, shower. It's almost like glamping out here. Not too bad at all. Here's a little bit of technical chat for you, what the runners have faced today. It has never been flat. There's rocks everywhere, ruts everywhere. So what's happening is when the foot is hitting the floor, it's rolling the whole time. What we're gonna see is people's lower legs taking a lot more strain. We're also gonna see friction inside of the shoes and that's gonna lead to a lot more blisters. So although we're just past the 20K checkpoint, I'm expecting to hear people talking of hot feet, blisters emerging, hot spots, this kind of stuff. It's rolling the whole time and it doesn't look like it's gonna change. What a course we've got today. Run 20K, earn myself a date. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Luckily I've got a couple more. Don't talk with your mouth full, mum says. I've now been hijacked by the rest of the media team and uh, this really important guy here. Did you pay? Yes, I paid. Good. That hit my head, but that's okay. to get another 20 kilometers running today stopped at checkpoint two and I've been having a truckload of fun since as you've probably seen it's amazing out here really beautiful great vegetation actually something quite interesting in some small allotments actually all over the place we're seeing bananas you see some bananas there's some up there growing next to coffee beans we've got coffee beans here and bananas up there. That's pretty awesome. And it's quite normal here. What would I know? Day three of the race, and actually a little bit more relaxed start. Well, still wake up at quarter to five. I'm not gonna run until it gets light. There's 
because I don't need to. But then we're going to run up the crater that sits next to Mount Kilimanjaro 10k up, which probably won't be around. And then 10k on the roll down. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. I have a simple plan for today. I'm going to go up to the crater 2700, which is a thousand meter climb in about 10k. And back down and I think if I feel good I'll run all the way back to the camp which could get me just under 30. It'll be quite a big day. Lucky I've got three dates. It's gonna be good. For all the trail running geeks out there, people are just like trail running you don't have to be a geek. I'm doing a little bit of a test here. On this leg I am only walking stroke power hiking. There's flats like what I'm on now but I'm not running at all to see, because the guys behind me are run walking with their poles, they're the ones in the race. I'm trying to see what real life research, which way is faster. My own personal consumption really, so that I can know what I do when I want to go out when I want to race. I think really about them. There's a bit of geekery for you. Well done, well done. Hey, come on, Woo! 2,700 meters, the highest point on today's course. Kilimanjaro in the clouds just behind me, a lap of the crater, and then we go downtown. I think we hit rush hour. <laughs> this carpenter here, burying the dead, making the coffin. Good morning! Mental. I had a load of fun today. We ran 34 kilometers in the end, some of it with Rob, some of it not with Rob. Only the bits where we needed to get some camera footage. Great day. These guys have 66 kilometers tomorrow. I'm undecided what I'm going to do. The first part of the course, the first 15k is actually all downhill and then it's about, well, you add it up, 40 to 50k, pretty flat. I'm not sure. Let's see. If the landscape's good, I'll run for longer. It's day four here in Tanzania. The guys started super early this morning, 4am, and as you can see behind me, the sun is rising and I might go for a run. for my second run of the day and check out the last few k's of the course pretty awesome right now i'm in pretty much the middle of nowhere i haven't seen anyone for a long time there's no phone connection it's windy it's not super hot but it's hot and i'm having the best time of my life it's mental complete disconnection from anything i'm here free i've got you on this thing it's weird sometimes i just talk into this camera. Most stuff I use, a lot of stuff I actually don't, maybe because it's normally absolute bollocks. I'm having a great time though. I found a nice spot on the course, so I've taken an opportunity to have a sit down, take my pack off, pop up my tan, dry my t-shirt, whilst I wait for the runners. How amazing is it? This is the last 5k of today's long stage. I get a treat. Some shadows from the trees. But to be fair, the underfoot is changing all the time. Some soft sand, long grass, and then some brambles at some stage. 
Brambles? Strawberry. <laughs> it's the fifth and final day of this race. 49 kilometers for the runners today. I think I'll go to checkpoint two, which should get me another 20. It's been an awesome week of running, covering these guys, talking to them, and following the race, the highs, and also experiencing or also getting to cover some of the lows. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty awesome day out there. How good is this? Some of the oldest trees on the planet on the course today. The Bobab tree? Very impressive. Here's a fun fact for you. I charged my Sunto before I left Dubai, run over 100 kilometers, all on navigation, so I don't get lost, and it still has 38% battery left. It's pretty good. Day six, going for a run. Not a big run. I thought we'd be sitting around a lot today, so it'd be good to get out and stretch the legs, so I think there might be some animals there. The other day we found zebra, so let's see, we'll go for a look around. Yeah, behind me, some wildebeest, and some zebra. If you're ever in doubt whether you should go for a run, you should. Wildebeest, Zebra, and a nice 30 minutes before we hop on these coaches and transfer back to the hotel in this beautiful land. Bush is good, but when you get back to the hotel, have a shower and put some fresh clothes on, it feels pretty awesome. We're back at the place that we checked into in night one, and a beautiful view. 